all of a sudden investors seem to be getting very excited about shares. Equities are certainly having a good run. The FTSE 100 enjoyed its best January since 1989. On the 1st of February, the FTSE closed at a four and a half year high of 6,347. The Dow Jones finished on 14,010, the first time it's passed 14,000 since October 2007. Many in the industry are predicting that the FTSE 100 will break through the 7,000 barrier by the end of the year and that the Dow Jones will hit 15,000. So should you join the bull run now or are you already too late? Well here at Sensible Investing we refuse to speculate. The FTSE 100 might hit an all-time high later this year, but it might not. What we do know is this. Since 1900, the average annual return on cash has been 0.9%. Gold has averaged 1.0%. Interestingly, for all the hype about buy to let and so on, housing has returned on average not much more than cash, about 1.3%. The average return on bonds has been 1.7%, but by far and away the best investment has been equities. On average, shares have returned 5.4% per year. Of course, that's not to say that shares will perform quite so well in future, but given the 112-year timescale those averages are worked out over, they are a significant indicator. The downside, of course, is that shares are definitely not a safe investment. You can lose money over the short and even the medium term. This is what we'd recommend. First, you need to ask yourself a few questions. What are you investing for? What return do you require to meet your goals? How much can you actually afford to lose? And what is your tolerance of risk? You should then be in a position to decide how much you're willing to invest in equities. Ensure your portfolio is carefully balanced because returns from bonds generally have a negative correlation to returns from equities. Bonds are a good counterbalance. Invest for the long term in low cost passive funds. Rebalance your portfolio, but no more often than twice a year. And crucially, stick with your chosen strategy during periods of market turbulence, which are an inevitable part of the investing experience. Many in the investment industry will try to make it sound much more complicated, but it really is as simple as that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.